welcome to Divine Lee Design Studio. My name's Nicole Reed, and today we're going to be working on this gorgeous block called Pinwheels and it's number six in a series of 12. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are at block six and you're going to need a few things today. You're going to need your fabric, of course, and you're also going to need to head over to our blog and get your uh, your free download instructions. The link is down below this video, so you just click on that link. It'll take you on over to where you need to print that off from. Get that, then you come back and basically we're going to uh, cut a few bits of fabric, not too many today. You're also going to need some pins, some thread snips, a rotary cutter, a quilting ruler, and obviously you're going to need your design board too so you can lay out your block. So the first things that you're going to cut are your background fabric and you're going to cut 10 squares at 2 and 7 eighths and then you're going to cross cut them into uh, 20, it'll be equal 20 triangles and you're going to do the same with your um, purple fabric and then for cut B you're going to cut 4, 4 and 5 eighths uh, squares and then basically once you've got all that cut we're going to get started sewing okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some chain piecing today now for those that don't know what chain piecing is is basically what we do is we prep all our um, half square triangles with the right sides together and then we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a quarter of inch seam allowance and we're just going to feed those through because we've got quite a few to make so we'll get them all, all um, put together with our right sides together head over to the sewing machine and then we'll start sewing those together and this is basically just how I quickly prep them making sure that uh, we've got right sides together it's a real quick way of piecing uh, it just saves you a little bit of cotton saves you a little bit of time and especially for those of us that are, are time poor we can get what we need to get done very quickly so I'm going to keep doing that okay so we've sewn all our uh, units together we should have 20 of them um, and I'm basically just now going to press them open and I'm going to square them up I'm just going to check each size of them and make sure that they're all around the, the same size they should be around about the two and a half inch mark is where they'll get trimmed up to so you can see there I've just got to take a little bit of a smidgen off and using the same um, technique that we've used in with other half square triangles in this series lining up our 45 degree angle onto our um, where our seam to fabrics meet okay and just lining that up and just trimming off the little bit of excess and they they should be around uh, they might be just slightly bigger than the two and a half but trim them down to the two and a half and then we'll be right to go okay so we've squared them all up and now we're going to make our half square triangles so basically what you're going to do uh, sorry our pinwheels with our half square triangles so basically following the diagram you're just going to place um, your two and a half inch half square triangles in this layout this way so you can see there that it's creating a pinwheel <clears throat> and we're going to make five of those units so using a quarter inch seam allowance we're going to take our top row lay them right sides together and then you're going to sew down this side and again I'm going to chain piece these so what I'll do is I'll actually put a pin into the side that I have to sew on and I will do that straight through the machine and then I'll come back and then add that top row to this next row and you're just making sure that they're all lined up and you're everything is going where it's supposed to be and just pop a pin in there it's not quite lined up so now you want to make sure that this seam is lining up as well because this is going to give you really good points in the center okay so just be aware of that and make sure that you pin it in the right place and everything is lining up 
and I'm going to continue that doing that with the rest of my units so just like I did then and you just repeat that until you have five units okay so we've done all the chain piecing and we've got them all in there I've cut them apart so they each unit uh, is together and then once you've done that you can trim these apart so trimming off your excess threads and everything like that and you're going to press it and you can see here I'll bring that up a little bit closer to the camera you can see here there's a quarter inch seam allowance here so and I've got it also on this one as well so basically what that means is that I'm not going to take off a chunk of my point or anything like that as long as I take it nice and easy and sew my quarter inch seam allowance I should be okay so basically um, I've just trimmed off my excess threads I line them up making sure that the pinwheel is going the right way and not the wrong way and I'm going to nest these together I'll just get my little um, hand presser just get that a little bit of a press and then I'm going to line this center seam up putting them right sides together nesting my seams just making sure that everything is lining up in there and then I'm going to get a pin and I'm going to pin that and making sure that everything is lining up now that's a little bit off so I'll just redo that again now I'm not sure if you can see this or not but just where where that pin's gone in there's a little like cross I'm going to stay above that if I go below that I'm actually going to lose my point so when I'm sewing I'm actually just going to stay above that all right I'm going to hit do the rest of the um, units and I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and sew them all together. so we've put all our pinwheels together now so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab our design board we're going to give these a good press we're going to trim them up if we need to trim the trim the pinwheels up again using the techniques that we've used in previous months um, we'll grab our design board we'll lay out our design and then we'll sew each row together okay so I've trimmed up and got rid of all the scraggly bits off my uh, pinwheels and now I'm going to to line these all up I have made a minor adjustment this square here the plain square I've actually trimmed that down to four and a half so they fit the pinwheels because my pinwheels were closer to four and a half than they were to um, four and five eighths so that's what you need to do now um, if, if you've cut them at four and five eighths cut them down to four and a half and they should uh, fit your pinwheels so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to assemble the block and we're going to take our first row and sew that together so you just place this right sides together sew down this line open that back up and then pop that one on top and sew it down there and that will be your first row and you're going to repeat that for the three rows and then you'll add that the first row to the second row and then the third row to that and then we'll be completed our block okay so you can see I've sewn the three rows together and now basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finger press this and I have that seam going out towards that way and then I'm going to line these seams here so I'm going to place that on top and then I'm going to nest those seams and I'm going to grab a pin and I'm going to pin that in place I'm going to repeat it with the other one and because I'm working with triangles they tend to get a little bit 
troublesome at times so I'll line this all up making sure that all my edges are lining up and I'll just pop a pin into the center of each of those and that way that'll stop some of the warping that can happen with triangles now also remember just to let them feed through don't force them or pull them because you can see there there's quite a little bit of um, play in that and if you pull them you'll end up warping those so basically I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew right along here where I've pinned using my quarter inch seam allowance okay all right seem to have been all right it's all sort of lining up a little bit this one's moved just a touch but I'm not too concerned about that at the moment um, overall it looks pretty good and now I can add the third row onto it let's just get rid of some of my threads I normally wouldn't use a dark thread like I have been but it was just so you can see where I um, have been stitching and Alrighty, so again I line this up making sure that everything is lining up and uh, one thing I have got into the habit of as well with pinwheels because I do give me a little bit of trouble I sort of mimic the seam allowance with my pin just to make sure that they are uh, lining up so I sort of just eyeball a quarter of an inch and um, that way I can just open it up and see if it is actually because I'm going to stitch there it, but it should show that it's going to line up so you can see this one's lining up but this one not so much so I'm going to sort of play around with that a little bit and see if I can't maybe have to turn it or something along those lines just to get these um, lines to go through nice and straight and I find that that really does help much better so you can see there it's still out of just a touch but I'll it should stitch pretty good I hope you really enjoyed making the pinwheels as much as I did today. Give them a go, get, uh, get in there and give them a good practice. As I said, I do struggle sometimes with uh, pinwheels. They do give me a little bit of grief, so it's one that I like to incorporate into every quilt, and that way you'll get better and better at them the more that you do them. Thank you very much for joining me today to make this gorgeous pinwheel block. As I said, we are at block six for a series of 12 and I look forward to seeing you again next month. If you like this video today, give us a thumbs up down below, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and that way you won't miss out on any future posts. My name's Nicole Reed for Devonaly Design Studio and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.